Hi. I hope everybody can hear me all right. Let me see if I can get that off of there. So hot. Oh. Hi, everybody. Hi. How's it going? It is so hot. Oh, my God. It is so hot. <laughs> hey pixie how are you i'm uh furious with my dogs right now i had to have hvac come in vicky it's happy vicky day hi happy vicky day i gotta pick her up at the airport tonight and my dogs decided not to go outside and made a mess on my bedroom rug. So I'm ready to shoot them to death. So now they're outside where it's hot. That's where they're going to stay. Yeah, it's really hot. My uh, HVAC. It's been a rough week. My HVAC went out. I had the HVAC guy here this morning. So I don't know what my dogs are thinking. But I'm going to shoot them. Hi, Liz. Yep, it's Happy Vicky Day. I spoke to her this morning. So she's coming. I'm going to try not to drop you guys. I'm going to move you a little closer because I'm leaning too far. There we go. Maybe now I can see you. <laughs> My grandson's here. He's taking a bath. I mean, that's, I told his dad, I was like, you're going to have to you're gonna have to stay because i got a show. Let's show up. <laughs> Whew. I had to go and I dropped four hundred dollars on window units. I got one in my bedroom, I got one here in the living room, and I got one in the studio. Good grief. Just to cool it down. It's like ninety-five degrees already and it's just noon. Everybody's goodies went out, finally. Yeah, exactly. Big old fresh mess right on my rug. I, oh, I was mad, boy. I yanked the rug up and had to hose it off and give it a scrub. And Hi, Marion. How are you? And yeah, it was, yeah, it tested my patience beyond belief. So I got halfway through that hoard. Uh, that's what my husband would call it, a hoard. Um, I got, I pulled some things here. Um, uh, I fe I'm featuring a few. I'm only featuring like about 10 because I'm sure Vicky's going to want to go on tonight. I think we may come on tonight, have a pajama party. Um, I am, I got some fun things coming. I got some changes coming. Um, there's only 16. Yeah, but you know, I'm in podunk, so it's going to it's going to take me almost two hours just to get to the closest airport to get Vicky, and then two hours back. So she, her, her plane arrives around 5.30ish. So, and the HVAC guy just left. So I was kind of grounded today. So, but yeah, I'm sure Vicky and I will do a lot of sourcing, which means a lot of traveling because I've got one hole in the wall, Goodwill here. And they are uh, Wabash Valley, and they are for profit. They are not a nonprofit. They don't do anything for the community, so I don't, I don't uh, like to support them. And you know the Goodwill, uh, the Goodwills in um, Indianapolis, Indiana, is where they're based. Those are not community-based Goodwills either. They're just. A guy who bought the rights to the name. I've never seen them do anything for anybody. And they will tell you they are a for-profit organization. So they're not, they don't count. They're just a second-hand store. Yeah, we're going to have fun. 
gonna have fun. I'm excited. If my dog doesn't quit messing around, that'd be fine. I have, I have this giant bag of the Indian sarongs and the beautiful fabrics that they have and all the detail. You know, they even busted into that this morning and thought they could drag them out. They are just going crazy. I don't know what it is today. I'm going just lock and load, man. <laughs> I mean, they know they're in trouble now. They're, you know, out there in the pantry there with their little ears down. Down like this. It's, it's not going to work. I'm mad. You'll mess in my house. So there's a few things, the, a couple reasons why I'm popping on. I'm showing you some of the things that I've featured, of course, but I have to make a few changes. I hope the changes aren't too drastic. Um, so I'm going to change my shipping policy um, to a flat $10 fee, and I have to do that, and, there's, and I want to explain why. Um, it doesn't matter if you buy one bag or if you buy 50 bags. It's going to be a flat fee. Ten dollars. I went to ship over the last couple of weeks everybody's bags, and what you know for some reason, it, even with it's supposed to be four ninety five for anything under a pound, um, and then it moves on from there. So I had one. It was one pound one ounce, and they charged me fifteen dollars to ship it. Um, Becky's stuff cost me fifty dollars to send. Seriously. It was 25 so now they're saying that I have to pay for um, I have to pay for the extra insurances and stuff like that which I know for a fact isn't true it depends on who's behind that counter it is behind, who's behind that counter if I go there when a certain gentleman's there he always does right by me and Becky and I have a great time and I'm shipping stuff to her if it's the lady behind the counter, it always cost me triple. She charged me to send to California a box, $47, on a $30 purse. We, I mean, I don't know if it's just here or if the shipping rates are going crazy. Um, but to offset that, because, like I said, it's usually a certain postal worker. It, it, it always, it's nuts. So... I'm putting the shipping a ten dollar shipping dollar flat fee because even um, the pirate ship I'm finding to ship from here and that the savings are not that great. I'm finding um, that when I'm still dealing with them, yeah, shipping rates are horrible. Still dealing with them, it's a little crazy. So we have to offset that a little bit. Um, I love y'all, but I can't. I, I can't keep covering that so it cost me out of pocket to ship just what we did in the last sale 85 bucks out of my own pocket so it was in, insane yeah they say by weight but you know Becky got the um, the Alexander Wayne prism tote which is extremely lightweight I popped her t-shirt her Tom and Jerry t-shirt in the middle now I've sent big Vicky I've sent Vicky. I've sent um, Becky big bags before. I, I've sent her these things, and, it, and the shipping rates were always wonderful. I get this lady, and she wants to charge me. Psh, yeah. Yeah, and I have a whole bunch of emails this morning um, saying shipping rate, um, shipping rate modifications. So they just charged me another. $17.30 in shipping rates is an automatic thing through my account. So whatever this lady, you know, went to send out, and I weigh my stuff too. She's saying that they're wrong and charged me, yeah, charged me another $17. So, yeah. Yeah, but this one that I sent to Becky was the prism tone. It's extremely lightweight. You know, um, it, it's, it, yeah, it's just not cost effective. So, I will not ship anything when she's behind the counter, but when the gentleman is there, I will. Um, I will do the shipping. Um, so, I'm sorry. So, I'm going to make it a $10 flat fee. That covers it across the board. Usually, it doesn't 
yeah. Some things are only seven dollars. Some things are four or fifty. Some things are nine. Some are fourteen. So if I do a flat a flat ten, it, it kind of balances out. I bet it was. That's that's a heavy old bag. Yeah. So I can't keep doing that. So I hope you guys understand. But that means I don't have to keep up charging on the bags and things like that. Um, so there. <laughs> so we're going to go a flat $10. And we're also going to do something really, really fun. I think I'm going to try to talk Vicky into doing a pajama party tonight. I think it'll be fun. Depending on how tired she is. Um, we weren't gonna, we're going to do a raffle. It's going to be really, really fun. I'm going to show you some of the things. I'm going to put it in this cool tote. I'm going to fill this tote completely full. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's not affiliated. I seen there was an Envy Me boutique for, you know, uh, I'm assuming larger women um, for underwear. No, 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 no. I did not know that when I, when I got this, when I did the bag. So, um, yeah. Ten bucks should be fine. So some of the things that will feature in there, it's going to have a Marc Jacobs collection uh, piece in there. I'm going to put a Marc Jacobs collection piece in there. There's going to be Starbucks mugs. I have a Hello Kitty mug. And I have a ton of Bath and Body Works. So we're going to fill this tote with all kind of fun things. And we're going to do a raffle. We're gonna, it's going to be fun. Um, something we're going to do in honor of Vicki coming. And let me show you some of the things. It'll be... One of these. We have this one. This one. Oh, good. Yeah. It was, you know, it, it's old school Maine USA leather. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure it's the same leather as the vintage coach. But, you know, I picked it up for what? A buck, I said, or something like that? You can't, you know, do any better than that. Hello Kitty Mug. So we've got two of the steel. Now when I bought these for this giveaway. So I'm only going to do, I'm going to keep it low though. I mean, it's going to be um, a $20 raffle uh, number. Um, and I only got 20 slots. So we're going to keep it short and sweet. Is it this one you guys want in there? I'll let you pick the cup. But like I said, you'll have Starbucks. You'll have, there'll be probably perfume in there. Um, Bath and Body Works. And there will be a Marc Jacobs collection piece in this tote. And I'm not going to tell you which one. Ha! That's going to be the surprise. So you can either, if you win the giveaway, we can either unbox it and show you. Or, or you can do your own unboxing and show us. But this is a large, large tote, and I am going to, it is, it is, and I am going to fill it up. I got this. Um, this is brand spanking new. I am not into the Hello Kitty thing. Um, but I was over, I got this at Marshall's, I think. And it was the very last one. And I don't know what's going on in the Hello Kitty world, but people are going insane. So I was like, <coughs> I think, yeah, the Hello Kitty Halloween, I'm not sure. But they were, you know, I grabbed one and upset a lady. And I don't care. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So if you guys are all in agreement, it'll be this one. And it'll be the Hello Kitty cup for sure. The rest of the stuff, I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be a surprise. Mine do fairly well. Um, I used those other ones that I showed you guys in a separate live. And I was good. Um, I work 13-hour shifts. So I was good for at least nine hours of my shift. The, I, they're not... Ah, uh, Yeti. You know, Yetis by no means, but they do quite well. 
Now, with it 110 degrees out right now, it might be hard pressed if you leave it in the sun. But sitting in my office, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not Yetis. And I also work in an office, so, I mean, I'm an administrator. <laughs> Bye, Brian. What are you doing, Brian? <laughs> Brian and Jeremy are here. So, but it's going to be in this fun tote, and it's a great big one. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with that. So the the number slots, they're $20 each. Or if you make a purchase, you're automatically entered. Yeah. But I think the consensus is they like the pink one. I figured that one would be popular. They had that one. They did have the green crystal one. Um... But as I was looking at the, the bottom of it, I told the lady behind the counter, I was like, there's a, there's a hairline crack in the bottom of that one. So I didn't want that one. So I took the pink one and the, the two. No, 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 no. Starting today. No, I'm not. No, because if you have bags on layaway or you're making payments on bags, the, the previous bags had already had an upcharge on there for shipping. So, no. Yeah, you can do that. Absolutely, you can do that. So, you can pick a number between 1 through 20. And if somebody's already picked that number, I'll just let you know. But I'm going to keep it... To 20 people and make it fine. Yeah, so. So we're going to be doing that. So I was really worried about, because I, I, I like to be able to get on and say I do things separate, um, the shipping and that. And I've noticed a couple other resellers are starting to jump on the free shipping bandwagon. Um, the upcharge is going to be a better part of what, 20% then almost. Um, I know they do that for, uh, Poshmark, but you know, that's all included in all of that, so from what I understand, Vicky's going to come teach me that that's why in the description box I put Poshmark, it'd be Lady Badger 71, um, and then I put in parentheses as soon as Vicky teaches me how to use it I put a couple bags on there um, I'm not sure I'm doing it right, I don't know I, but she's pro, she's got like a thousand bags, so She's going to teach me how to do that because it takes me an hour, half an hour to an hour to, 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 to post a bag. That's why I just don't do it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, we're going to be doing that. All right. So, I went ahead um, as requested. Everything that I'm featuring um, today, I, I, I'm only doing like 10 bags. Um, I do have. A tote full of bags um, and of course I'll open it up to requests and what have you and then you guys can ask questions but because you know we deviate off of that yeah yeah maybe maybe I'll have her do that it's going to be a fun pajama party. What, the last, our, our last pajama party we did together, we ran until, what, 2 in the morning? It was like 4 hours. <laughs> <coughs> you have to relist every 60 days. Yeah, see, she's really pro Poshmark. She seems to think that it's worth it, and she told me she would teach me all about it when she gets here. So, maybe she can share her knowledge. That would be really cool. She said it's worth it. It's better. She she likes it better than eBay and, and Mercari. This was... Hi, Joanny. This was 
one that I offered, but nobody bought it, so. <laughs> I'm wearing it. Oh, you haven't had a realist? Yeah, see, I'll, uh, yeah, I will let you guys know. Because she said it takes her 30 seconds. She just snaps, 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 and then, and then goes. So maybe I'm just overthinking it, which is probably the case. <laughs> Cause she's like I she can do she says 40 listings an hour oh uh, yeah I wasn't impressed with Depop the only reason why I went on Depop is when I first started watching Hadrian he was listing there I wasn't impressed yeah <laughs> okay, I will show you guys what I'm featuring, and then you guys can have the floor. Oh, I'll ask her. Maybe this goal is to, to sell that bag before you have to relist it, huh? So, oh, I got an update. Um, the one bag... If you guys remember the Patricia Nash, the big tote that I had, I had the one I had two of. I went ahead and I listed the one on eBay, and I was telling you guys about how she got upset because it arrived. I don't know in shipping; it must have got a. She says a scratch. I find that a little hard to believe, but she. I told her, you know, it's the Patricia Nash leather. All you need to do is condition it, and she said she was not trying to condition a bag that has new tags on it and I told her I was like well you're going to have to condition the bag because I'm not going to take it back I'm going to have to fight you on this so she left me neutral feedback because when she conditioned the bag it went away <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why I have I have seen that site See, Pixie does her selling on eBay. Yeah. I have just... People, they buy these things. Some of the higher-end things, I, I've had some luck on eBay. And then I had a few people that sent me back, obviously, something tore up from the floor up that I didn't send them. <coughs> some real shifty people. That's right. Yeah. But she didn't leave bad feedback. She just left neutral feedback. So her exact words are, I'm not trying to condition a bag that's new with tags. I'm like, uh, then you don't know much about leather. Then you don't, yeah. Then you don't know what you're doing. So. Yeah. Clearly she don't. I mean, she thinks that if it's, if it's, if it's new with tags, then you don't have to, like the leather won't dry out, or, you know, I don't know. <laughs> she clearly has no idea, she doesn't know what she had. No, but if they say, with eBay, they were going to make me refund her. But, she wasn't real quick about putting the bag back in the mail. I'm not... I'm not doing that. They were going to make me refund her because she said the bag was not as I described. So she said she couldn't figure out how to send pictures, but the bag's on its way. Um, yeah. Oh, good. Rob and I was so worried. I received a um, notification that a bag that uh, one of I needed one of the UP, you know, the codes for um, the shipping labels needed my attention. And when I went to the post office and did a search on it, it was for your city. And I thought, oh Lord, Robin, what happened? Um, but you got it. Um, that makes me feel better. That's true. 
That's true. And I don't mind getting some of these bags, people, you know, and the, the old vintage leather, it doesn't matter what it looks like, you know. I personally don't dunk my vintage leather. Um, I just don't. I let whoever wants it dunk it. <laughs> but, you know, I use, this is what I use. It's the best thing since peanut butter, and I've got a lot of these because every time I walk into Marshalls, if they have any, I take it. I just bought. You want me to put one of these in the in the raffle bag? I will. I got lots. Best thing since peanut butter. That stuff. So that is. I, I recommend this. I, I deal with a lot of Patricia Nash and a lot of Dooney. This by far. Um by far, is the best to take care of a Patricia Nash or a Dooney and Burt. And it does beautiful things with the vintage coach leather. Um, so, I recommend it, recommend it, recommend it. I'm going to, because I did, I buy it, when I find it, I buy it, and it's not expensive. It's $7.99 for a bottle and it, I've had this bottle and I deal with a lot of bags three four months it's gonna go in here I will include a bottle of that in there not a problem It does magic things. Absolutely magic things. If you have a Marshalls near you, I found two bottles on the shelf the other day. I grabbed those. And then when I was going through the checkout um, with that Hello Kitty cup, I found another two bottles. You know, how they got all that stuff when you go up to the checkout. So, I get that. So, I walked out there. <laughs> Four bottles of that. <laughs> Now the Cadillac, now this you have to buff. I mean, you take a soft brush and buff, or I use one of my really super soft rags and buff to get it to shine. Um, the It brings the leather back to life. It does what it's supposed to do. Now the Cadillac that Hadrian uses, um, I'm sorry, this is by far a better product, but if you want a shinier bag, the Cadillac does do better. I found it um, in the section where they have the cleaning supplies, things like that. Uh, cleaning supplies. And then, like I said, in the checkout, I found two more bottles tucked away behind. I It was sitting next to the stainless steel wipes that you would wipe down your stainless steel appliances with. And I buy all of my, um, I use the organic... Uh, lavender and uh, vinegar um, smells so good in the big bottle. Yeah, you can get it on Amazon. Yeah, I'm telling you, get yourself a bottle of this. Everything it does, everything. I love that stuff. I wanted to send, when I was going to send a bag to uh, Bone Adventure, uh, yeah, they wouldn't let me send it to her. Still trying to figure out a way how to get that to her. Maybe if I order it through Amazon and send it that way. I do. I order a lot of stuff from Amazon. Um, dog treats are automatically delivered. Uh, yep, I get my Cadillac on Amazon because I like to get the two packs. But I must say, I've not bought a bottle of Cadillac since I tried the leather CPR. Vicky's arriving tonight. I pick her up from the airport. 
at around 5.30 uh, Central Standard Time. I'm going to try to talk her into a pajama party tonight. Because I am, hopefully, in her first show that she's on, we're going to do a raffle. It's going to be a good fun. Depends on how tired she is. Her, the, the first flight she tried to book, though, she's just going from Florida to Illinois. They wanted to take, like, 10 hours and 500 layovers. I'm like, eh. Ah. So she found one that's only about five hours. But I wanted her to fly into Decatur because O'Hare and the major airports, the closest major airport to me is a four and a half hour drive. Decatur is an hour and a half. I'm doing fine, Fishing King. How are you? <laughs> uh, one of the major reasons I popped on is, is I wanted to, you know, let you guys know the, the changes in the shipping and let you know about the the raffle that we're going to do to welcome Vicky into the Badger's Den. <gasps> Lin Lin, how are you? How are you doing? Bag bomb, huh? You know, my grandmother used bag bomb for everything. She was, she loved that stuff. She had those, it's like an, uh, is that, that's the stuff that's in the gray, or the gray, green tin? Yeah, my grandma used it for everything. <laughs> okay, let me start showing you some of this stuff. I found these bags. I found my poppy. I don't know if you guys remember this. I see, I'm see. i going to have Vicky touch it up. But I found my poppy. My poppy. He's fine. Trying to take care of the Can't see. Wait to see what you... Aw. Right. Thanks, Mary. Right. Yeah, saddle soap is good, but I don't, you know... I've got a nice formulation that I have to clean up my bags now that it works beautifully. Yes, Brian. Right. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me show you what I picked, you guys, and then I'll open up the floor. I found, I don't know if you guys remember this. I was wearing this for a while. I didn't stuff it because I ran out of stuffing again. <laughs> Cute little Rebecca Mean Cough Crossbody. Now, this one. Has a zipper closure, but is also unlined. Okay. Just a little simple crossbody. Beautiful leather. Had to put, yeah. I don't know what I did with the strap. I've had this a while and I don't know what I did with the strap. So, but it matches beautifully. So, it's a regular crossbody. If you want me to measure it, I will. Love the cute detail. So, if you're interested in this Rebecca Minka crossbody, I'm offering it today for $45. That'll be number one. Hmm? Can I please what? I don't, I, uh, everything is getting expensive. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure what you're talking about, Fishing King, but if you're going in the direction I think you're going, I have an email address in the description box. The live sale is not the place to do that. So there you go. 45 and I will ship that to you. Next, I pulled out the hobo. I found my Dooney. I didn't stuff it very well. Like I said, I'm out of stuffing. My vintage hobo, Dooney and Burke. Now this hobo is a large one. Here's my head. <laughs> and this cute little bow. No, Gail, you're not late at all. I'm just showing the second item. I only pulled like 10 things because I do have a giant tote here, stuff that I found. I did find that mulberry I was telling you guys about. But this cute little bow, I'm using it as a twilly, but you actually, you know what this is? It's my Nike headband. <laughs> I find they it just moves around on my head too much, so I don't, uh, you know, so I don't use it. So eBay is offering this hobo at $120 and then wanting $15 shipped for it. That is crazy. I'm offering it to you today for $120. Beautiful bag. Big, thick leather. Don't get more vintage than that. I don't know if you can see down in there. The lighting is not so great. Did you guys get over those rains? We, we, only, we only had like 45 seconds of hard rain and then that, and then that was it. Bradley bag. Nice. <coughs> I have a uh, Bradley Mishka collector's edition bag in leather. Um, zipper pocket. Let's see if I can pull this out. No, of course it won't let me pull it out. It has one of the beautiful old school phone pockets. Um, it is now for Mace. We all decided that was going to be cool for that. What we have under here. Beautiful bag. Love how heavy the leather is on this. Doonies are getting crazy, crazy expensive, guys. Crazy, crazy expensive. I'm sweating already. Congratulations, Lin Lin. Awesome. Here you go. So if you're interested in that, I'm offering it for 120. That'll be number two. Next little bag I found. I found a little quilted diamonds. Great spade. This will be number three. It's on a chain. It's in beautiful condition. On the front of it, like it usually does, if you see right there, it's wearing just a little bit right there. But it's cool because it's wearing evenly, so it looks kind of neat. It looks like a rose gold under there. Kind of neat. I like it. We all know that's way too small for me. It's got the hot pink inside. <laughs> Nice and lean. Hi, Jean. How are you? It's got one open pocket. Here you go. Q 
cute little Kate Spade. Cute little quilted thing. Love it. Taking really good care of it. But we all know I'm not going to be able to do anything with this. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm really excited. Um, I'm on vacation now. I actually took a vacation. So, yeah. You know, Vicky goes home on Monday. And my work denied my last day of vacation on Monday. So, my son's going to have to take her to the airport or she's going to have to Uber it. Unbelievable. They even called me today to make sure I was going to be there on Monday. Unbelievable. Yeah, bite me. So if you're interested in the little quilt of Kate Spade crossbody, 45 today. <laughs> That's number three. Try to keep the number straight because you guys know I go way south. I will. I end up going way south. I do have a fun one. These have been reissued, but mine is not a reissue. It has a dust bag and everything. The big weekender. The big fossil weekender. The, mine is a dusty rose. Almost like a purple color. I love the color. This is the weekender satchel. Isn't it cool? Ophelia, didn't you get my other fossil? <laughs> I, lo I love fossil leather, but I like some of the higher end pieces. Now, these have been redone, reissued, but this is an original, guys. So, here's your cards. So, it opens up here in the front. And it does come a dust bag. I love fossils. The fossils you got, Ophelia, are amazing. I do have another fossil here. It's super duper fun. Super duper cheap. <laughs> it's beautiful on the inside. I'm hoping you can see. Beautiful. like um, It's the same color on the inside. It's got two open pockets. A zipper pocket. Look at that color. It's pretty. Hi, Cindy. Yes, ma'am. I'm featuring 10, and then, Ophelia, I will open the floor. Um, I do have a tote that, of things that I haven't seen in a very long time. Isn't that cool? That I haven't seen in a very long time. Um, but some of these bigger pieces, these nicer ones, I'm offering... So this, does, this one does come with a tote bag. This is an original. It's not a reissue. So with this one, um, they have them going, the reissues anywhere from $89 to $150. And then they're charging like $10 to $20 in shipping. Mine is an original. $80. Bucks. And she is yours. <laughs> yeah, I like originals. Reissues are great, and fossil leather is amazing. But if you don't got to get a reissue, then you might as well get the original, right? She's bigger than you think. I mean, here's my head. Yeah. So she's a little bit bigger than you would think she is. So that is number four i'm calling it dusty pink because i don't have a clue what color that is <laughs> i have no idea and i do have also yeah so we're, yeah the weekender is only 80. we're gonna i'm gonna offer two cheaper than what they're offering the reaches because i can i have a dooney and burke brenna guys I found this one. Like I said, I didn't have enough stuffing, and I'm sorry. So. It's a Dooney Brenna. It's 
the strap does come off. It is, it can you adjust it down a little bit more so, I mean, it's going to be more of a shoulder bag or a handbag, but you know you can put a crossbody on this, and I'm fairly certain I can find a really fun crossbody for it that'll match. I've got some boho looking ones in this kind of the same colorway. Um, it's got leather ends on it, so the leather on the strap will be a little lighter than what's here, but the colorway will be phenomenal. It'll match beautifully. So if you're interested in that or you want me just to find one that'll match. So let me know if you want a crossbody if you're interested in this one. So Miss Brenna is stuffed to the gills. Got some of that puffer stuff in there. Okay, there we go. So the front part of the Brenna, is if you guys are Dooney connoisseurs, there's the front pocket, and it has an open pocket here. And you know it's older, and it's got the textile in there for the the inside. It's not let's see. There's the other side, the back pocket. Then you open it up in the middle. You have your key fob, two open pockets, giant open pocket, and a zipper pocket. Beautiful Brenna. I love the leather on the feetsies. It is going to patina. It is going to scratch. It is. The leather can this leather CPR though will do wonders. Beautiful. It's brown in like a, a taupe. So it's coming off a little darker on camera than what it really is. For my birthday? <laughs> I'm <kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Debbie. Debbie or Deborah? Deborah. So this is a beautiful Brenna, guys. And she has been locked away for a very long time. Oh, hi, Amy's. How are you? Well, if this, like this Brenna here, is number four. You can call out for mine, and I will write down your screen name, and I can invoice you. Or, if you want to go to PayPal, you can put number four. You would put uh, Dooney Brenna. All the information is in the description box. Now, you are new, and you don't know me. So, if you decide to send payment, down at the bottom, everybody knows you've got friends and family, and you've got goods and services. You don't know me. So the trust factor probably isn't there yet, so you can hit goods and services. And I'm happy to take, you know, cover those fees. Because if I invoice you, I'm still going to pay the fees. So it doesn't matter. So if you use um, goods and services, you still have all the protections that you would if I invoiced you. So just hit the right one if you don't want to wait. Or you can send me an email and get, let me know your shipping address, what number that you would like, and I can invoice you fairly simple. I run everything through PayPal. So, as long as I have the correct email address and your PayPal is updated, it'll auto-populate, you know, when I go to do your shipping label. So, it's not a problem. So, this one here, so if you are interested in the um, Dooney and Burt Brenna Satchel, eBay's offering this in black and in not as good a condition for $169.17 shipped. We're not doing that today. If you're interested in this satchel, I'm offering it for $130. Beautiful satchel. So if you're new here, we did some changes. I used to include shipping. Um, but we had to stop doing that because the Postal Service is doing bajankity things. So I would send things out. Depending on who's been on counter, it's costing way more than, wow. Um, and then I'm getting shipping adjustment notifications. So once I drop everything off and it's taken in and accepted by UPS or USPS, they're charging me still. Yeah. So they're sending me more fees. So... It's a flat $10 fee, whether you buy one bag or whether you buy 15 bags. doesn't matter. 
shipping is ten dollars that's it kind of helps offset some of that I'm not about it so I don't like doing that so we're gonna do that So, isn't that Brenna Satchel the coolest? I like how it's since like that. I love that. I also have a Dooney and Burt Camden, the British Brown. That's what I put in the description. Now, I bought this from a, a, what was it, a Discord group member. I do believe I bought this over a year ago. Bevan Parker, I do believe. I think I got it from Bevan uh, for my niece, and she never used it. Didn't seem to care. So, I have the Camden British. Beautiful condition. Beautiful. I love the woven leather look. I'm glad you found us too. Welcome, Amy. This one has a crossbody. I put it inside because you know, guys, I'll lose it. <laughs> the crossbody's inside. And cross there, right here behind the straps is the crossbody hooks. This has got a zipper front pocket. And it's got the stripey. So you know that's old school. <laughs> Beautiful tote. We've got two open pockets, another big open pocket. And the zipper pocket. There you go. It's rather nice in there. Love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can pull the liners out I'm going to. Here we go. Yeah, this is cute. And she didn't. Now this one has. Ooh, I didn't notice that before. It's got a few pen marks right there. But if you're interested in this, it will not have pen marks when it comes to you. I didn't know they were there. It eluded me. But they won't come to you with pen marks. I'll get them out. Nate problemo. Here we go. Now, this is a medium sized bag. This is not a huge bag. So, if you're interested in this one, I did a little research on this. eBay, they're wanting the Camden Brown, British Brown, and the black for $124. And they're asking for it. $20 shipping on top of it. No. So, I'm asking $90 for the bag. She cute. Her's cute. So, they're asking so much money for these Dooney and Burks. Good grief, man. I found in one of these totes another Coach Willis. It's the bigger one. Um, she has some of her issues, but she is good. I'm not sure what that is or something was on it. I conditioned it. Um, hmm. So this is a bigger one. She has her issues. She's got corner wear. Which is to be expected on some of these bags. This one's got a little damage. And I am out of the adhesive and the stuff like that to repair that properly. I don't know if Vicky's bringing some, but I am out. Beautiful on the inside. Oh, there's a pocket here in the back. Number five. That Brenna is amazing, Teresa.
It is all yours, girl. And that also puts you in the drawing for the raffle. Were you here for that, Teresa? The, the giveaway or the raffle is going to be this giant tote that says Envy Me Boutique. <laughs> it's going to cut it's going to have a Mark Jacobs collection piece in it. It's going to have they've already girls already told it's going to have this Starbucks mug brand new. It's going to have a Hello Kitty cup in there. And it's going to have we're going to have Bath and Body Works. You name it, we're going to have it. We're going to fill this tote completely up and send it to the winner. So the Mark Jacobs bag it's not going to be any bag. It's going to be Mark Jacobs collection piece. I'm not sending you Mark by Mark Jacobs. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. So if you guys were not here, um, you know, with the purchase, you're going to get an automatic entry. Um, two purchases, you get two entries in. Or it's $20 and you can buy yourself a slot. And then when Vicki and I get together for our event, I'm going to have Vicki draw the winner. And she's going to yell at me profusely for the things that I plan on putting in here. Yeah. But that's okay. She yells at me all the time. It's fine. <laughs> so this bag, I found it. And, and I have, you guys know, on my bedroom shelf, I have the exact same bag, but it's smaller. This is the bigger one. see in there but it's it's really nice in there um let me see here i can read it for you we got the inner pocket this is g13-9927 this coach bag is handcrafted in this one was made in china full grain full grain leather yada 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 See, there it is, stamped in there, and then it has beautiful. Love it. This is a bigger one. So because it has boo boos on the corners, I'm offering the the biggie Willis. I like to call it the big one, as is for eighty bucks. And of course, I'll leave the strap on there. So, Coach Willis, 80 bucks. <laughs> now, I have something cool here. I don't know if you guys like statement pieces, your pieces large and in charge. I got something fun. messenger bag this is a fossil <laughs> it is bright it is vibrant it is a vibe <laughs> isn't this cool they go pocket in the back they're magnetic snap closures you have two big Pockets here in the front. Another giant pocket here. Now this will fit a 15-inch laptop. This is a monster. Probably fit it here in the front too. Of Missani? Yeah. So this, this is a big old fun bag. It's coated canvas and leather. All the other bits is leather. The trim is leather. The details are leather. But this is a coated canvas. This cool strap. Now it doesn't look like the strap is removable. 
but it certainly is adjustable. And it is bright, and it is loud, it's a vibe. So if you're looking for something fun that you can wear in the bad weather, here you go. So if you're interested in the, the big old groovy, I like to call it the groovy messenger bag, I'm, I'm asking 40 bucks. And that includes shipping. So 30. <laughs> I had her write it down and she's used to that with the shipping now. So she's 30. It'll be 40 with shipping. So you're interested in that. <laughs> I know, right? You could wear black, you could wear red, purple. Yeah. That would even look really cool against lime green, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's super fun. I also have a little crossbody here. It's not a little crossbody. It's a bigger crossbody. It's got the studded detail. Now this bag is from Fry & Co. So hers a fry bag. I love the distressed leather look. She's kind of a gunmetal gray, bluey, I'd say gunmetal distress looking leather. It's really pretty. <laughs> so up under here we have a zipper pocket. Got the black fabric inside. I love Fry & Co. leather. It's Fry & Co. here in the back. It's got this, yeah, it's got a little key charm on there. Inside, fabric is black. black. I'm going to see if I can't. No, oh, of course, it doesn't want to pull out. So it has an open pocket, and there's your frying co. So this other side does not open up. So it's just got one little open pocket there, big enough for your cell phone. And of course it's black, but it's perfect. It's beautifully clean. I've never used it. I think this was an original, um, I think back in the day, I bought this from Hadrian, I think. I think it was Hadrian I got it from. And then, then never used it. The beautiful fry bag. So if you're interested in the fry bag, it's 50 bucks. awesome condition. Vicki will be on tonight. I'm going to talk her into a pajama party. Her flight's only five, five hours, so it should be fine. I'm not really going to give her a choice. What's a good time you guys want us to come on? My uh, studio is an absolute disaster. Because I, I ran out of shelf space for all my purses. <laughs> Number nine, the fry bag is 50 bucks. Scrumptious leather. It is awesome leather. The last thing I picked out for you guys before I open the floor to you is the North South Tote by Dooney and Burke. Now, uh, these totes, they're beautiful. Um, and the, they're crazy. To find it on the Macari and Poshmark, they're insane. Uh, eBay's running about $159.99. And they're asking $17 for shipping and what have you. I think I've showed you my Northwest tote before. Um, I'm missing the little Dooney and Burke tag for it, but I'll hang a cool charm if you want it. But here is my tote. It is large and in charge. Excellent condition. 9.30ish p.m. Central Standard Time.
Because if I if I go any, it'll have to be Central Standard Time. If I go any earlier than that, because if her flight's delayed or whatever, it's going to put, yeah, Central Standard Time is fine in between 9 and 9.30. That'll be good. Because by the time we get back here, you know, I feed her and stuff like that. It'll probably be all of 8.30, 9 o'clock. The last time I did a pajama party, we were on four hours, and I was in my jammies. <laughs> and showed them off. So we're going to have one tonight. She doesn't know it yet, but we're going to do a big old raffle in her honor. So this is the Northwest Hope. Excellent condition. Made in the USA. You can see it. There you go. The inside is unlined. And look at all the stuff. The bottom is structured, so it's not going to cave on you. And the bottom is is it's got leather. You got your leather pouch. The sides and the rest of it is unlined. Beautiful. Beautiful suede in there. This is a beautiful bag. So that is a north north south tote. Is it north south or south north? I think it's north south tote. So. I think that oh maybe. I think Dawn was looking for a laptop bag, um, but I haven't I haven't heard from her. I did get um, I don't know if you guys like it, but I got a beautiful retro um, laptop bag. Like, but it's made. My last one sold. Um, this one is from Wilson's Leather, but it's so. Um, the, the leather is big, it's vibrant, it's thick. It is a cool messenger bag. I'll show you guys tonight. I usually don't pick up Wilson's leather, but this was cool. I'm not kidding. Yeah, it was Dawn. This would fit her laptop. But, I mean, it, it's pretty open in there. It's, it's unlined. It's got the suede and what have you. She would have to put... If you put a laptop in here, you're going to have to put it into a laptop case to protect it. So, I mean, that that would be my worry about using the North, South, West, Coast. <laughs> North, South, West, East. Oh my goodness. I'm in here. So that would be my, my concern. Um... with putting a laptop in here. So. so here you go. If you're interested in this, like I said, eBay's asking $159.99 for it. Um, and the one that they have has got scratching and there it looks like a little water damage. Um, this one is pristine. So I'm asking $145. This is black. That's black. <laughs> we had this dark, dark navy, midnight navy, black discussion last time. This is black. So that is 145. We'll beat the competition. I love this cup. This is giant. I went to Starbucks and I bought these. So these are brand new. They're not thrifted. They're brand new. Straight from the Starbucks chick behind the counter. <laughs> so those are the 10 things that I pulled. 
Um, I do have a giant tote here. Um, I have a Timu bag. Look at that. Why? This is going to show up in somebody's box. That's a Timu bag. I've seen that on Timu. Oh. I think they sent that. I don't know. I think it might have been a free gift because I ordered a lot of straps and things like that and uh, replacement zipper pulls and things like that. So I, th I think that's how that came to be. This is gone. This bag is beautiful. And it will go out in the morning. I'm on vacation this week, so anything you buy will go out immediately. Except for today, I gotta pick up Vicky. She'll get a little mad if I don't pick her up. <laughs> the number two duty? The ho bo bo. The ho bo bo. Ho bo bo. Ho bo bo. I can. And will. I'm buried. Let me go get my measuring tape. You know how everybody was talking about um, Hadrian got a hold of that Gucci headband and I, and I couldn't figure out what the hubbub and bub was. I paid a lot more for mine. Uh, you guys, I have one. I have one of those. All right, who boo? Okay, so hmm. it's a little bit of a weird shape. So I'm gonna throw a few measurements at you. So if we go strap to strap here on the thicker side, that is 14 and a half. But since it angles down, we're also going to measure down here at the bottom. And then the angle down to 11. It is nine and a half this way. But the depth, look at that. And we're going to measure from here to here to keep it real. So we're oops, okay, dropping, dropping things because I'm a dorkus. It's a solid six, girl. Yeah, he sold it for... I paid, um, and I'm, I'm not real impressed with it. I mean, uh, I paid a hundred and a half for mine. And it's not good quality. I mean, she's going to wear it a few times. But, I mean, I'm not, I'm not impressed with it. And when he got it, I was thinking, oh, Lord, somebody going to pay a ton for that. Don't get me wrong, I like Gucci. Um... But the quality isn't there. Um, that's why I never showed you guys or never offered it. I paid 150 for mine. Um, and just not impressed with it. You know. I don't know. I mean, there's some diehard Gucci fans and going to tell me that I'm crazy. It's probably going to blow up in the comments or emails, but I, you know, I'm one of those. Yeah, he sold it for 95 So, the, oh, the Dooney number two, the vintage hobo is 120 Yeah, he sold his for 95 and I'm thinking, oh man, that's kind of like Opie. You guys, you know, my, my house mascot, Opie. Yeah, well, I have really long hair, so my goal was, is, you know, to have it up and for it to stay put. But I, again, I, with, like with this, this is actually, I'm using it as a, like a twilly. 
but this is actually my Nike headband. Um, they slide on my head. So, did I do the wrong one? The the vet the vintage hobo the Camden Brown should be AD the Coach Will should be AD did I make a boo boo Well, that's okay. I'll honor it. That's fine. I'll do it for 80. If you want it, I'll... Nope! I'll do it for 80. I've had her for several years and she needs to go. If you want this bag for 80, I will sell it to you for 80. Well, it'll be 90 because it'll be $10 shipping. But absolutely, that's absolutely fine. Somebody to love her. I'm good with it. Do you guys like all the emojis? I'm like. made a mistake. It's so possible. Have you guys met me? Yeah. It's bad. Oh, it smells so good. Let me show you guys the dupe. So, you guys heard me complain and Poshmark, after three months, reimbursed me because of a, of a mulberry. Now the leather on this is amazing. It is top notch leather. It's a good dupey. I knew going in that it had, you know, some issues. But I had gotten the bag and because of things going on in my personal life, I put it in a tote and didn't look at it. Once I looked at it, I see, what is this? Um, okay. I'm like, what is this? So the stitching on this here is horrible. And I have a tag. Now, they don't all have the disc, and I get that. But it's, it's not even even. It's stamped sideways. And then the creme de la creme, you can look at the stitching here, look at that, and it gets better. I, I sent a picture of that to, there's a spot that I want to show you guys, oh, look at that stitching. Really? So, it's got a lot of the really cool, the hardware, um, the leather is top notch. So, I was reimbursed for it, so I might just I don't know. I mean, this is like a regular belt. This is a regular belt on here, even. Um, if somebody wants some nice leather or what have you, but this is not a genuine mulberry. 
took me about two minutes to figure that out after I opened it up. I was mad, boy. <laughs> but they reimbursed me for it, so all is right with the world. Ooh, is Don's on? Oh, they're talking about the, the uh, north-south toad. I have the fun, funky fossil, and then I have the north-south toad. Oh. And then we have the, the funky fossil. Her groovy. Groovy, groovy, groovy. So... And then I did get a Wilson's leather one. It's really pretty. It's red. Um, but you were looking for something for your big old laptop. And Cindy thought this would be good for you. This is actually a messenger bag. It'll hold the laptop. My, my fear with the Weekender tote is you would have to put your laptop, you know, in a padded area. But this will fit it. It's a big old beauty. It's online. Beautiful suede, um, but that would worry me. That's cool. That's absolutely fine with me, Cindy. I'm good. I'm not fussed. It's not heavy in any way. Absolutely light. The bottom is structured. So you're talking about the number two hobo, and that is fine with me. If somebody wants to love her, AD is fine with me. You know, I was um, I was having more fun when I was doing the listing. <laughs> I'm not surprised I made a mistake, but I was having fun putting the emojis in, like. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a lot of fun but so what uh, that's still it's still a great a great 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 bag it needs a home because it's been sitting here I've had it for years so now I'm going to open up the floor um, I have this giant toad over here so Don you're just getting here uh, I'm picking up Vicky this afternoon yeah, I did show. Do you want to see it again? Um, we're going to do a pajama party. And there's going to be a raffle. So, I'm going to fill this giant tote <laughs> with goodies. And we're going to raffle it off. You know, if you want leather... Um, I do have another messenger I found um, that's leather. Yeah, this is a um, a keeper keeper fossil. It's got stuff on the side here, but here. But, I mean, it's in here, and I didn't feature it today because I didn't know, but I do have a beautiful, gorgeous new tags messenger. Um, I'm not sure. It should fit a 15, but this has got the padded inside. This is one of those, it's genuine leather. This is one of the India. And it smells so nice. It's got a big pocket in the back. So forget what size your laptop is, Don. Uh, 15 inch. I got lots and lots of coach. Um, 
will probably show all that. I've got a few behind me that were mine that I cleaned up. Let's see. I don't know. A 15 might be a tight squeeze in this one, though. But it would fit a 14 comfortably. Could just be the padding. But yeah, this is brand new with tags. I've never used it. I think I showed it one time before, a long time ago. And then packed it up. But I bought it at Marshall's when I needed one. But then Hadrian sent me a mulberry. So I've had it. So this, the padding inside measures at 14 and a half. So a 13 and a half would fit in there. And this is all padded on both sides. And this is brand new. I don't even remember what I paid for it. But then it has open pockets, another zipper pocket there. And it the smell is intoxicating. I love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It just snaps closed. That would make that snap. So the strap is adjustable. This is one of the handcraft and the India ones that you see it. Yeah, it's like it's a Marshalls. Yeah. If you're interested in this, I'll sell it to you for 60. But I think that's what I paid for it. I think that's what I picked it up for. If you can use her and love her. She is gorgeous. Mm. I reckon you will love it. She's brand new. And she's just sitting there. And the cool groovy. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> yeah. So she's 30. But she would be 40 with the $10 shipping. So we had to... We're having problems with the USPS, so I had to let everybody know, Don, that I now have to charge $10 shipping, but that's flat, whether you get one thing or 50 things, it's $10 flat. So they're charging astronomical prices again, and then with, I, I sent everything through Ship Nation through PayPal, so I let PayPal handle those services and that too, and they're charging me back. So I just paid another $17 and some change on bags I shipped out yesterday. For Pete's sake, man. So, yeah, you can see the fry. You may see the fry. Love the distressed leather. It's like a gunmetal bluey. Oh, did she? Amy did? I'm sorry, Amy. I missed it. You can have it for listing. So it'll be $80, uh, $10 shipping, Amy. Go ahead and send me an email. I'll make sure I have the number and then I have your shipping address and all that stuff as well. I have all your details. And it'll go out tomorrow. This is a cool bag, Jean. So it's got one open pocket. It's black in there, and it won't let me pull the liner out. But it's beautiful. I've never used it. I picked this up back in the day because I needed a bigger crossbody, and I love the leather. I got it from Hadrian, and because it was cool. But I ended up not using it. And just make sure you, I have all your details, Amy. You can either send it over and make sure you hit 
goods and services, or I can invoice you. It's up to you, Amy. You're welcome, Jean. What else did I find? I don't know if you guys remember when I carried this. <laughs> I found this in that tote. This is my... <laughs> My lounge fly, because it's not just any lounge fly. That's suede. This is genuine leather. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Beautiful condition. So I found that. The lounge fly. I'm not really into sugar skulls, but I saw this and it was cool, and the leather on it is amazing. So that was fun. What else did I find? Oh, you guys have seen this a few times, I think. The coach pouch. This is really pretty. Got two open pockets in there. And it's pretty. It's got a little hang tag. So I found that. I did find some smalls. I can't believe it. Um well this one, it's like a fabric. It's got boo-boos. So it's got a lot of, it's got wear on it. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? So if I, you know, if somebody's interested in the pretty pouch, the pretty coach pouch with the, the flower pouch, you know, 45, I'll send it out. I like the clown. Floral coach pouch. It's 45. And this one, I mean, it's got a lot of wear on it. It's you know, I don't, it's got a hang tag and stuff. So if you want, do you want this one too? Pixie, I'll send it to you. You may have to, I don't know. I don't know what you would do to do that silver. You can have it if you want it. What else did I find? Oh! <laughs> yeah, this was a fun one. Now this is a um, vegan leather or whatever, or whatever they want to call it. But do you guys remember this one? That's cool. I do believe, I remember picking this up for somebody, but then they didn't end up purchasing it. It's got a crossbody inside. It says Mickey Mouse. I don't know that. It's 100% polyester, so it, it, it's vinyl. It's brand new. Flower pouch is all yours. I'm going to throw in that other one, too, if you want it. So if you guys know anybody that likes Disney, little girl. <laughs> it's 
So I found that. God, that's cool. I found that. What else? I found a Dooney. A big one. We got a big chocolate baby here. It's got Like it's in pretty good shape. Looks like we got a little bit of, a little bit of scratching. But I think that the leather CPR cleaned that right up. Well, this is one of the big mamba jambas. So how much for the Disney? Uh, I mean it's not real leather. So if you want to, I, I, forty-five. It does come with a crossbody. Um, it is nice, uh, but it is not. It's not real leather. It's that vegany stuff. So if you're interested in that, I'll send it uh, for forty-five bucks. That's. There you go, Dooney. Looks to be in pretty good shape. So I haven't inspected anything in this tote, guys. So yeah, let your sister know it. It's not going anywhere. The handle, it's it's pristine. I like I said, I bought it for somebody. They wanted it. I picked it up, and they never paid for it. So it ended up in the tote. I think I was still living in the other house. It might have been last summer. So we got a Dooney here. Another old school fossil. It looks like it needs a color refresh. Let's see. Oh, I have, what else we got here? I got a Rebecca Minkoff in here. Weapon bag for sure. The chain is very heavy. This is an old school Rebecca Minkoff. It's like the leather is really, really thick. Oh, and they're pockets. These are not, the bottom two are okay. The bottom two are not, but this top one is a pocket. So we have an open pocket. Rebecca me top in there. Yeah. So the front has a yeah. I've seen some of the other newer Rebecca Minkoffs. They're not heavy and truly real like heavy, heavy like this one is. So this is an old school one. So I found that. So somebody was asking for coach. Oh I did there is a coach in this tote bag. This is a smaller version of the red one I have, but this one has all kind of charmy thingies on it. Oh, it's got a crossbody inside here. So this one comes with a crossbody. This is 26201, and it's unlined. There's two open pockets on the other side. Let me put the crossbody back in there. <laughs> and it's the weighted canvas. So I have that little guy. I have found this. I gave this a condition and cleaned it up. Too pretty. So that's what I was doing this morning when I was waiting for the... Uh, HVAC guy to get here. I was cleaning up this bag. This is pretty. It's looking really good now. Look how pretty it is now in there. It was a hot mess. Yeah, I almost forgot. 
Thank you, Cindy. My goodness. Gotcha. The weighted canvas? That's a small... I do have... Uh, mm, I have the bigger red one, Don, in the weighted canvas. It looks just like this, except it's, it's like a raspberry color. Um, well, it's... Yeah, it should. It might... 14 across. Mm. The depth is 4. And the height is about 9. So I'm not, I'm not sure, but it's also a crossbody. I mean, it'll, I don't know. I don't have a 13. My laptop is... 15 inches. I don't have a 13 inch right back. But I mean, I do have, Don, I do have this exact same bag, but it's red. Yes. Now that is a full blown toot. I think they're the same print. Yeah, they're the same print. <laughs> so this one, Don, um, this one I did used to use. It's got, like, right here on the corners, a little bit of wear right there. Other than that, it is a weighted tote. The weighted canvas. Has the lobster claw clasp on top. Now this will fit your laptop. For sure. It does come with a dust bag. It does have its own dust bag. This one is 25522. It's got zipper pocket on the side. And it's got two open pockets and another zipper pocket. So it is padded. It is weighted. This one would probably do better than the, the better than the, you know, the, the Dooney North-South one. This is a lot more structured. Yeah. Oh, good question. Normally buy black. <laughs> yeah. So I took real good care of her. She's pristine on the inside. Do you know how work bags go? Right there. I could probably have Vicky touch it up and then it'll look beautiful. Then have yeah, it comes with a dust bag. The uh, ship protector that top a little bit better. <laughs> Hey, you know, it can be done. I'm still carrying my mulberry. Um, 
But yeah, I had I had the jigsaw. It was in that one. Then I went back to the mulberry. And then that Louie came in and I went into that one. And now I'm back into the mulberry. For the coach black and white. Let me look it over. I haven't inspected it. Let me look it over. Make sure. It's a beautiful condition. If you like the little the black and white tote, I'll let it go for sixty-five. It's a deal. Beautiful, beautiful condition. Yeah. I, I, I moved right back. I moved right back out of it. Um, because those when that rain hit, I had that. Um. So I wasn't sure about what the water would do to that leather. It's a cute little tote. And it's weighted. Let me put my pen down. Jeez. So you'll love it. It's online. So I like that it's online because then you can just wipe it out if you get stuff in there. Wipe it right out. Well, I didn't expect to show it, so let's see. Pixie Buddha's is, was number 11. And we'll put your bag number 12. how that goes awesome awesome what is this? Oh, how much for the red tote? Don, if you would like it, I will I'll let it go for 120. Yes, red coat for Don Price. When I originally when I originally showed showed it, I asked 145 for it. <laughs> no, no, no. This one's mine. Now I never showed you guys because I knew when he got it, I was like, oh, no, somebody's going to pay a fortune for that. The quality is not there with these. I paid $150 for mine. And the quality is not there with these. You're paying for the name. No, who? Uh, Hypatia bought that, and I guarantee I give it, I give it a month. And she's going to be like, <laughs> she's gonna be like no nope, that sucks because <laughs> it, it stretches out and it the elasticity doesn't hold that great see and down there at the bottom they come undone quite easily yeah yeah so don't don't yeah don't spend your money on this Yeah. Yeah. No. I, you know, Hadrian could have put that thing up there for $10 and I still went, no. No. Yeah. And I've only, you know, I removed this once and this is literally from maybe, 
a week's of use. Like, I use it, work out with maybe seven or eight times. This is after seven or eight times. Like I said, she is going to probably post how bad it sucks. You see that, Gucci? This thing sucks. Sucks. <laughs> this is cool, though. And I have... This has a very much a um, Stella McCartney vibe, but you guys, this is my... Oh, I can't believe I found this. This is my Michael Kors. So you get some Stella McCartney vibe going, but real leather. <laughs> now I have a big head. <laughs> Got one of those key things in there. That's just a cool bag. This is biker rocker chick. But I like crossbody. Right. I like to play with that. So, I mean, at the sake of getting lynched, I, I remember when Hadrian showed the bag when he had the Stella McCartney. Um, I remember thinking, that's a lot of money for vegan leather. That's a lot of money for vegan leather. I have it in leather. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Yeah. When you go full-blown rocker chick, man, you gotta, you gotta have the leather. And I have a... Let's see. You guys don't need it. This is cool. This is my another vintage Michael Kors. Look at that. Isn't that neat? The faux shaggy deer skin. <laughs> Isn't that cute? This is old school. <laughs> yeah. I got a I got quite a bit of the old school Michael Kors. Robin, yes. <laughs> so if you guys want tonight, I'll see if I can't find more. I got some set, like vintage vintage Michael Kors, old school stuff. Big thick pebbled Got bubble wrap in there and everything. It's even got it's got the fabric lining, that twill stuff. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Let me go sideways. It doesn't want to pull out. It's got two open pockets and a zipper pocket. It's just cool. Your daughter took... <laughs> Yours for... Oh. We all know I like my Michael Kors. And, you know, I like Michael... The, the leather stuff, the vintage, is the best. And then I really just love the Jacquard. I love it, love it, love it. What else is in this tote? We've all kind of... I ain't making a huge mess. But... Oh! You guys remember this one? Here we go. Uh, Tama. Libby Skint. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Cool bag. You see that? We got Ziggy fur. Got a piece of Ziggy fur on there. The big old bag. Lee Biscuit. Ah! Lee Biscuit. What? What did Hadrian say? Lip Biscuit? <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
Oh, Robin, I'm going to pull some tonight. See how many I got and what have you. We're going to do the pajama party. I told you guys I had two of these. I found the other one. That's in this tote. What else we got? We got a poppy. Go poppy. Poppy. Got a blemish right there. It's not a scratch. Damn limp biscuit. <laughs> Oh, I still have, still have this one. So yeah, I'm gonna look some of them over. They've been just locked away. This one, okay. But let's see the the vintage Michael Kors. Ah, hmm. Liebeskind means love child. That is true. And I like it. Yeah. I found my black one. I have a lot of love child. You know, Hannah, I still have that tote. The rare tote. I got a hold of the seller. They still, they, he still has one in pink. So there's the yellow one that I have, the, the distressed tote bag, and then there's a pink one. I'm trying. I think I got a yellow one. Do I need a pink one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is a cool bag. I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't. I don't think I've ever showed you guys this one. I don't. I don't know. I think I would let it go for a hundred. It's in immaculate condition. I mean, there's not even blemishes on the hardware. I'm taking love, love, Robin. Do you want this one, Robin? I'll sell it to you for 100 But it'll be 110 because we're doing $10 shipping now. So pretty. Smells like leather. Love this. I never, ever untied the knots, though. Um, I just left it where it was. <laughs> I didn't want to go messing with it. So we'll call that, if you're interested, I'll put it on there, number 13, Vintage Michael, with cords. <laughs> there you go, number 13. 100 bucks. She's been stored away a long time. So I'll have, if somebody's interested, like I said, it's a hundred bucks. It'll be 110 with shipping. And I'll have Vicki go over it, make sure. But I don't even see any scratches, even on the garments. It's Okay. Robin, are you calling it? They're expensive yeah, in Germany, yeah. For me to get the tote, I think, uh, let's see, do, 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 do. yeah. 
for me to get the tote, the the distressed uh, tote bag, um, Dawn bought one. She bought the blue one. Um, it's going to cost me, God, we're looking at $247. I know. I have, I still have, I got that one. I still have the big black one. Um, I've got, yeah, I got rid of the, the little cube, uh, Liebeskind because it was too small. So I, I did get rid of that one. I think, I think you were on, I think you saw that sale. Well, Robin, if, if you want it, I will put your name on it. And then it puts you in the, uh. Put you in for the, what you call it? The raffle. So I got Teresa, Amy, Pixie, Cindy. You do. You do. You do. And now that I have a chance to get that same duffel bag, like that tote bag in pink, I mean, yeah. You can think about it, Robin. Absolutely. It's it's not it's not going anywhere. I mean, I showed it to you guys now. Um you know, if you're if, if it doesn't sell, then it'll just stay in my collection. Oh, Pauline, hi. There we're doing she doesn't know it yet. We're going to welcome Vicky. We're going to do a welcome Vicky raffle. I am going to fill this giant tote that says envy me. <laughs> Uh, it's going to feature, um, well, they already chose. The girls want this in it for sure. <laughs> so I went and I, I bought this. It's going to have a Hello Kitty cup in there. It's, uh, it's going to have, I have lots of bath and body work. That's going to go in there. And it's going to have a Marc Jacobs collection piece. Not going to tell you which one I'm going to put in there. Not a mark by Mark Jacobs, but we're going to put in a Mark Jacobs collection piece in there and other things. We're going to fill this up. So whoever wins this, I'm going to drop this bad boy into a box and I'm going to send it to you. So how we're doing it is it's, I have 20 slots available. Well, I don't now. I have 15 slots available. Um, it's $20 a ticket. You buy a number or you make a purchase. I'll just throw your name on the list. And as soon as we get 20 slots, I'm going to have Vicky. Pick the winner. So the resale value on the tote is going to be all of about 400 bucks. It's going to be no job. So. We're not putting no garbage in that thing. All you have to do, um, I got numbers 5 through 20 left. But in just send over paypal you can put whatever number um you want i got five like i said five through 20 left just put raffle entry um i'll write your name down and then I'm, if yeah <laughs> i'll write your name down you just send it over via paypal and just tell them raffle entry then when we get get ready to do it i will call off everybody's names what number that they have so when vicky draws you know but yeah, it's really exciting. It, it'll be a Marc Jacob collection. Um, Starbucks. It'll be Bath and Body Works. And some other amazing things. Amazing things. What else we got in this tote? I think that's about it for what's in this tote. Because there's a yellow bag down there, but it's it's got a broken clasp on it. So we have the Willis. And then this was in there. What else? This was in there. Yeah. This was in there. And then... My poppy, my beloved poppy was in there. Needs a little bit of a touch up. 
But it's just, it's bronze. I love bronze. So my poppy was in there. Which wallet? I've got, this was in there. The Michael Kors. This sold. The little white pouch sold. And then I had the the leather lounge fly. <laughs> this one. And you guys don't want that one because there's way too much wear on it. But yeah, I have Michael Kors and it's got some wear on the Now this is not like the other lounge flies that you get now. This is real leather. Leather and suede. This is an old school piece. There's the little thingies. Are you talking about the lounge fly? Am I missing one? Rebecca Minkoff over there. My hat was in there. Oh, how much for the lounge fly? <clears throat> hmm. I've had it around. I love this. This was cool. If you want the lounge fly, I'll sell it for $45. it will be number 14. Lounge fly is expensive, but that stuff's not real leather. This one is. Uh, right on, Robin. You're going to love it. It's not like Lounge Fi, these, you know, these days. This is the real deal. So, you're going to love that. So, you are number five, Robin, in the raffle. You're going to love this just cool. Wait a second. If I haven't worn it in six months, I really don't need it. <laughs> it is cool. It is cool. There you go. All right, guys. Yeah, this is a Michael Kors. But it's got some wear here. Yeah. Right on, Cindy. Thank you. My eBay name is Lady Badger. There's nothing on there. There might be a few pairs of shoes. They've been listening on there for like a year. <laughs> um, how about... Uh, Lisa, we do number six. Robin just took number five, but that's okay. We got you, Lisa. Lisa Lieber's number six. But it's Lady Badger, and then I'm going to learn how to use Poshmark. See, I usually don't list on those because I haven't had real good experience with those, but, you know, my bestie says, hey, you know, it's worth it. It's $20 per spot. Pauline? Pauline, we'll put you down for number seven then. <laughs> no, today's, no, my birthday's March 2nd. I'll be 35 again. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. So Pixie has spot three and ten. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Pauline. <laughs> You're thirty nine point nine nine. Me too. Me too. Thirty nine point nine 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 nine. Me too. But if I, <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, Robin got number. Robin's got number five. But we still have uh, eight and nine, and then Pixie took ten, and we still have eleven through twenty. <laughs> We still have that, and we still have tonight. I mean, we don't have to do it right now. I mean, as soon as, you know, uh, Vicky and I fill 20 slots, we'll do the raffle. So, it, that can be tonight, too. Doesn't have to be right now. <laughs> so, look at this big old mess. See, I wanted my house to be, you know, all clean and pretty and have the sheets washed and all that. And Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Imagining we're probably going to get in trouble. Usually when we get together, we're going to get in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to sound off here because it is probably, what, 2 o'clock now? I have no idea. 2.30? Okay. So, going to get all of this cleaned up, and then I'll get it into the, uh, the studio, and then I'm going to go get Vicky. So i got to leave here in, in at least an hour to go get her. Trakini. Absolutely. Gotcha. Drakini, you are number eight. Everybody wants me to go on at about 9, 9.30 Central Standard Time. We're going to do a pajama party. Well, if I know Vicky, she'll have drinks. So I'm just saying now, Be prepared. <laughs> I don't drink, but Vicky likes to enjoy some, some wine and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. All right, guys. I will see you all tonight. We'll be back at 930 uh, Central Standard Time. I don't know what time that is for all of you guys, but here in Illinois. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Yep, 9.30, PJ Pajama Party. I will be in my PJs. We're going to do it. And no one, Vicky, there'll be wine involved. It'll be fun. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you tonight.